Hey Sagittarius, good to see ya. I'm Kat. I'm going to do your reading for March 2024. Okay, remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You can also check out your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. Okay, Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? Spirit, March 2024. What do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, Sagittarius, I'm getting um, you're being tricked or there's something here about someone trying to trick you or you're trying to trick someone. Um, remember, you can reverse the roles. But I'm getting before you place judgment on someone or a certain situation or something like that, you need to get more information about it. You need, um, it needs to be facts. Like, where is this proven, right? Um, you know, anybody can tell us anything, but is it factual? Well, you know, like, I'm hearing, where is the proof? So, because I, I okay, I'm just going to be honest. I feel like someone's filling you um, a line of bullcrap here. Um, you know, they're... And it could have something to do with like a situation, but in regards, it could be in regards to a person. You know, um, some people, you know, we're quick to place judgment and not really use our discernment when it comes to um, certain individuals or, or, or people in general. Like, you know, um, like people can say a lot of things about someone and it not be true. Okay, um, it's, it's good for you. It's like Spirit's trying to say, get, gain your own perspective when it comes to this. Um, what is your intuition telling you about this person? Or just, or what is your intuition telling you about the person that's telling you this? You know, you really have to, because I feel like someone here is trying to make you look at someone in a different light or is trying to make you look at someone differently and they're not giving you the truth, right? They're giving you, um, it's false. I'm hearing it's false. They're not giving you the truth. Also be careful with, um, you know, um, I'm hearing like, uh, well, is it false prophet? I don't know. It, you know, like someone's, yeah, someone's not being truthful with you is what I'm getting. And, and it's good for you to, you know, be aware of that and to know that in the month of March that, you know, not everything that you're hearing is true. And it's good for you um, to, in you know, a certain situation or this certain situation or what have you, is, you know, it could be, it's going to resonate for, you know, a lot of you. Um, it's going to be different. But... Just make sure that you, you gain your own perspective when it comes to a certain individual. And, you know, because I do feel like someone's trying to, um, like, make you look at someone differently is what I'm getting, okay? I'm also getting, like, I'm also hearing getting let down. Um, so, and also like someone could be saying, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm going to help you. I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to help you with this. Excuse me. And, um, they don't, right? Um, I, I just feel like you just need to watch, um, certain people or a person here that they're just not trying to damn someone to make them look better or, to, um, yeah, just make you look at a different, look at a person differently, or they're telling you something about someone that isn't true, so therefore you look at them differently, um, but it's not true. It's not true, Sagittarius, okay? So just, um, be mindful of that. What else do we have for Sagittarius spirit? And thank you. Two. Wrong. Your potential is endless. 45. 
breaks down to nine. So you're nearing a cycle here. And the Spirit wants you to know that your potential is endless. Like whatever you set your mind to, whatever it is that you want to achieve, whatever it is that you want to do, um, you're, there's potential here. Like your potential is endless. And that's what this card says. And 45 could be of some significance to you. Um, or the number 9, okay? So I'm going to get some of these for love. What do we have in love for Sagittarius, March 2024? What do we have for love, March 2024? What do we have for love, boat? Another sign got that, too. Let's see. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure and issues. So, um... When it comes to love, you could be gaining some kind of closure here. Um, you could be moving on from a certain person's situation. All right, but there's progression here. Okay, and you are going to receive what you need. Dragonfly, this has been coming out a lot. So, be lighthearted and, and finding out if things come into the light, adapt, change, and heal. So, something definitely could be coming to light in regards to your love life in the month of March. Okay, you could be gaining some kind of closure, too, in a situation when it comes to a certain individual. You could just be moving on from a situation as well. But just know that you have endless potential, right? And that you... um. You are going to be receiving, you know, what it is that you need. Like, so I see you moving forward. You're definitely not moving backwards. There is progression here. What else do we have for Sagittarius? What else do we have for Sagittarius? March 2024. So we have the hanged man. What else? That's Pisces energy. You could have that in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Pisces. They could have it in their chart. What else? What do we have for Sagittarius? The Ten of Cups. What else? We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Water and we have Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, we have Five of Swords. So there definitely could have been some game playing here, some fights, some drama, some gossiping. And then we have like the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Three of Swords. So I feel like, um, yeah, there has been like some, some, some gossiping here. Some, but like I said, be careful with that. Be careful of what you're hearing. Because it may not be true, right? Make sure that you get the facts. You get the information that you need. Okay? I'm getting that you are taking a pause here in regards to love. You are taking, like, a step back. And you're just trying to gain more information or a different perspective on a situation. And it has something definitely to do with the Ten of Cups. Your wish fulfillment, right? Um... What makes you happy? What fills all your cups? But I see you looking, you know, very good, right? You're you're very attractive. You're attracting. Um, someone finds you very attractive, right? Someone, you know, is very attracted to you. So 
So let's see. What is this hanged man? So I feel like Sagittarius, when it's late at night and you're in your bed and you're about to go to sleep, with this card, I just feel like that you're thinking a lot. You're thinking about your relationship or your relationships or what have you. Yeah, you're thinking about like your home life, your um, connection here with an individual. You can actually live with this person as well. What's this Ten of Cups? You're trying to gain a new perspective. Or maybe you're just wanting to pause in regards to maybe leveling up another uh, or leveling up a relationship, right? If you live with this person, maybe they want to get married. Um, if you're not living with them, maybe they want to live with you, okay? So you're just kind of taking a time out because you want to be sure. You want to be sure. Right, we have the Ten of Cups here. Wow, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. So a new beginning when it comes to stability, when it comes to your happiness. This is, um, yeah, this is definitely something tangible, right? This took a lot of strength, though, for you to work something out with someone. I feel like you're definitely going to be blocking out any type of, which I love, right? Because I feel like someone here is definitely trying to fill your head full of something when it comes to a certain individual. And I feel like you're definitely going to block this person or you're going to block it out. You're going to block out, you know, the chitter chatter, right, of another individual. You're going to block out any type of fights or chaos or conflict with someone, because you're really going to focus on a new beginning and stability and what makes you happy. So I love that. So the king. Oh, you're definitely in your element, right? You're, you are definitely in, you know, doing your thing. I feel looking good. Like I said, you, um, someone's definitely attracted to you. Or you're being very attractive in the month of March. Okay, yeah, someone's being blocked. Or it's like you're in two minds when it comes to an individual. Yeah, and you're not saying anything. You, you could not be speaking to this person right now. Or you're really trying to use your intuition. This is Pisces again, so you definitely could be dealing with a Pisces. So you're keeping, you're using your intuition. Okay, and you may not be speaking on whatever it is that you're hearing. Um, like again, here we go with the five of wands now, like chaos, conflict, um, you know, even competition. But someone here wants an equal give and take, right? They want reciprocity. They want to hold on to you. But I just feel like there's a lack of interest here, Sagittarius, on your part. You're definitely why. Why are you blocking this person? Or why are you blocking this out? Maybe it is to gain your own perspective when it comes to a certain person. Maybe you're realizing that, hey, maybe I'm getting tricked here. Maybe this individual or what I'm hearing isn't true, right? So, because it's it showed you were blocking out this, this, uh, this gossip, this you know, someone trying to play a game with you. Yeah, you have the Queen of Cups. And then you have the star at the bottom of the deck. Oh, Aquarius energy. And we have water here again. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Okay. Wow, and then the King.
King of Pentacles. I'm so sorry. So, Sagittarius, what I'm getting here is there's a lot of people in your energy in the, in the month of March. I feel like someone wants to heal a connection with you. You could have more, you could have uh, a couple of people that you're thinking of or that's thinking of you. Is somebody here you've had a break with? And they definitely want a second chance. This could be even someone that you were married to. But there's some kind of truth here that needs to be spoken. Yeah. Like they want to move past any type of obstacles or challenges that you guys have had. Let's get one more on this Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is someone that you've walked away from or that has walked away from you or has detached, right? I feel like you're in two minds as to what you want, who you want. Um, this person, I feel this individual here, this Queen of Cups, they're very in tune with their emotions, right? They can be very psychic, intuitive. Um, they're very loving, though. They're very caring. And... Um, you or them has walked away, has detached. But you want to get on the same page. There, this is a, a true connection here. This is a soulmate. This is two people getting on the same page and wanted the same thing. You've been waiting on this. You've also been watching or someone's been watching you, gaining more information. And they want your attention. They want victory here. But there is fear when it comes to, like, this wish fulfillment. There's, there's, you know. Yeah, I just feel like Sagittarius in the month of March, you have multiple opportunities, right? And it's hard for you to make a decision. I feel like there is someone, or maybe it's multiple people, that has put things in your head. And it's made you... Undecisive. I mean, you have this wish fulfillment, or someone here thinks of you as their wish fulfillment and their new start when it comes to stability, when it comes to the tangible, when it comes to, you know, strong potential here, right? Because it says, and you could be getting a new job offer too, but it says your potential is endless. But I, I do see a lot of people in your energy, and one you're blocked off from, one you're you're detached from, for sure. But I feel like it's due to a lot of gossip. I feel like it's due to a lot of untruths. And um, so in the month of March, I feel like you're going to be enlightened, though. There's going to be some kind of um, change here. You're, you know, there's going to be some kind of healing um, taking place. And you know, two people here getting on the same page and wanting the same thing. So, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your March. Thank you. Bye.